What is good again, gang? It is your girl, Johnny Avenetta, aka The Village J, and I'm back with another video today. If you are new here, what is goody goody goody? And if you are already subscribed, what is T? Welcome back. Today, we're going to be reviewing this KBL hair. In this review process, I'm just going to be showing you how I created the wig and my initial thoughts of it, of this hair moving forwards. This is not a tutorial video on um, how you should make your wigs. A lot of these steps that I took while making this wig was for myself so yeah. please be mindful of that I used brown thread this time because I ran out of black, so there's no special reason why I did that, but I think I'm starting to feel this situation a little bit more because I can see it on the cap. I'm not going to be talking much throughout this video. I'm going to be putting captions in, um, I guess you could say subtitles if you don't know what a caption is around this video to give my thoughts on my initial no review of this and then at the end of the video i'm gonna recap and talk to you about a little things that i found this is a series so there will be ongoing videos from this video that are to come so make sure you subscribe and stay tuned you can subscribe by pressing that red button i make videos like this all the time i give honest reviews i'm not paid to do these reviews nor do um, these people hit me up and ask me to review their product. This is 100% my money being spent on this product. So if I get a batch of hair and it is some crap, I will definitely let you know. And I will be upset. But if it is some fire, I will definitely let you know and recommend that you do so. Please feel free to visit the links down below. They are my affiliate links. It would mean so much if you could at least shop with them, even if you don't buy what is under there um help a sister out so i can keep making videos like this for you so you don't have to waste your coin on these vendors i'm saving you hundreds and thousands of dollars i pinky promise so yeah i'm gonna stop talking now and let you continue watching the video like i said please subscribe and i'll ttyl in a little bit
Yeah, so this is the install. I'm gonna turn on the ring light and we're gonna see what it looks like with the ring light. I did not glue it down. I only used got to be like a little bit in a ball cap. Okay. So if you see some lights, just know that's why. Okay, we can turn it all the way up. And you already know if I zoom in, you're going to see it. When you do hair, you zoom in. You're going to see it. But, uh, yeah, I don't like to spray the part because I don't want it to look like OD, like, big. I feel like it makes my head look big. But initially, I did the swoop. And you'll see in the video, I did the swoop. But I didn't really like that. So 
this is the final look of it. I did cut layers into it and it's slight layers in it, but not too much. I was really trying to recreate this wig. I'm gonna put it up here. So I was trying to recreate this wig, a wig I made like a few years ago, but I didn't want the baby hair. I did not want the little baby hair thing, so I just used some got to be to do that. But I think it looks cute. It looks pretty good. I could take it off and go to sleep and not mess it up. I switched up the install video this time. I didn't really do... um much of anything because it was just a simple black wig. I left the dye on this hair for about a few hours. Sheesh. I left it on for about a few hours and you can, I don't know if you can really see it, but in person you can kind of see like the way that I dyed it, I just used my hands. I didn't record that process because it was just black dye. But you can see that the roots that I have over bleached are like black and I kind of do that on purpose. Even though this is a 5x5 five five closure, I still kind of feel like it's 4. But I think it looks better than the 4. This is the KBL hair and this side is not cooperating no more. In this video, you're going to see me on... Um, You're gonna see me making a wig, putting it on, recording, cutting. But basically, I just, I have a widow's beak, so I cut along here, like that. And if you were to glue it down, you more than likely will not see that line of demarcation. But because I didn't glue mine down, you definitely do see it. So, that's that on that. Now, so far, I'm feeling it. It's cute, you know. The vibe. Turn this down because it's insanely bright. Ooh, I think this is where we live. Yes. All right, I'm gonna turn around and let you see the big part of it. But let me. And it's pretty cute. I gotta get used to like this wig being on my head because like y'all know I've been making videos in that little hat because I've been lazy. I don't know, but yes, so peace in here, Grease. Um I don't really have much to say right now. You know, I just installed it, so it's not much to say. But yeah, so peace and hair grease. I'll see you in the next video.